Hey everybody, this is going to start a little series I'm going to do on uh, the way things work in the signal department, anyway, of the railroad. Uh, I'll do a piece on the basic operations of things, uh, the signal system itself, wayside detectors, crossings, switches, uh, nothing that's going to reveal any big secrets, nothing that's going to show anybody how to vandalize anything or destroy anything. You could come out here with a sledgehammer and destroy things without me telling you anything. But anyway, I just thought that it might be interesting to uh, share my knowledge and experience, uh, my understanding of the job I've been doing for the last 40 years. Things have changed a lot. So what you're going to get to see is the new stuff. I'm not really going to hit on any of the old stuff except in the crossing segment because we still do use some of the old technology there. But where our signal systems uh, are concerned, it's all new technology. The switches themselves, the U5 boxes, the power switch machines. Uh, you saw us changing a power switch machine out a while back in a segment I did. I'll link that in the description below. I'll link that video. But uh, anyway, uh, some of the equipment is the same that we've been using for a long time, but the system we use to operate them is all modern. So uh, come on along and uh, we'll get started on this. I hope you enjoy it. Well, this is kind of fortuitous. Uh, as you can see, this is looking in a house. This is at uh, CPSP 370, Cameron, a Cameron crossover. This is the board that is used to, we can turn that key right there and take this into local and do these operations ourselves. That is, uh, those numbers there are giving us our track values. You can, you can go through those and uh, see your current, uh, your codes, which I'll go over in a little bit. I just wanted to catch this real quick. As you can see right there, that's showing us that green light is that he has a signal cleared. Uh, the other ones are, are uh, the other signals are all red. The two tracks flashing are block tracks. The one on top, the one that's below it to the left, means that track is occupied. And the blank one and the dark one to the right is showing that that track is unoccupied, as is the two in the middle above each other are the uh, OS circuit. Got a train approaching right now. He has a clear signal. And this is a, looks like a Union Pacific manifest train. See the windmills up in the top of the hill here above the canyon. Now that he has proceeded through, you can see that the track he is on is the track uh, indicated on the bottom. Now that track is showing occupied. And now he has occupied the track north of the OS. The OS is the control point. And that is a location that is controlled by a dispatcher. The dispatcher he can clear these signals, he can take the signals down, it's up to him. He can throw the switches, change the route the trains are going to take. And uh, that is all accomplished through the radio systems up there. There is our PTC radio, that is the positive train control. If a uh, train should get by a red signal here, PTC radio will send out the signal to stop the locomotive the brakes, bring it to a safe stop. And, uh, but anyway, the dispatcher in Omaha sends their, they've got a board, they just push a button that they want to clear a signal, throw a switch, comes into the radio there, goes through the wiring, goes into the magic box, and through these relays here. These are actually control relays, they're not, we 
still use relays at, at some places, control points, to actually throw switches. And we use track relays. But anyway, there are some applications where you just can't get rid of them. But the tracks are checked, the switches are checked through these relays. If everything's okay, it goes into the this, these wiring harnesses here, into that box. Tells everything, tells them that everything is okay, goes back out through the radio and tells the dispatcher everything's okay, and then the signal will clear or the switch will throw. These, these uh, lights here on the right, lamp 16, those are the cards that control the actual signal lights. Then you have the in and out cards that control the non-vital checks in the system. The train is gone now. He is disappearing off toward uh, Tehachapi. And now you can see that the light on the approach track, the one on the bottom left has gone out. The one in the, the uh, control point has gone out and he is occupying the track going south to Tehachapi. And then one of these, you have your central processing unit. This is the card that runs everything. And here you have these two windows here. Uh, right now we're looking at our receive current. There's no current on this track because that's the track the train's occupying. So that track is dead right now. This is receiving 1.3 amps. You can check your voltage. Those voltages are about a volt and a half. That's about right. Uh, those are the voltages going out on the track. To, to, we have no longer have pole line to run things. Everything's off the track. Uh, this goes right out to the rail and transmits codes and current and voltage. You can see where uh, the T is transmit, the R is receive. That's a 2 and a 5, not a 25. And, uh, I'm not going to get into what those codes mean. Uh, just they're just signal codes. They come in and they are deciphered by the machine and the machine will tell the signal system what it can do. Anyway, we have our batteries for standby power in here. There's our battery chargers. Those are three TCs. They run the track circuits at the control point within the control point. And these are connections to All the all the things that you run. These are uh, these are connect to the signals themselves. All these ones here. Uh, these connect to the tracks and run the track circuits. Those are part of the switch circuitry there, as are those. Uh, and over here you have more of the same. Those two things there are called track interface panels, and they are the interface between the track and the uh, system inside the house. Yeah, <clears throat> this is CPSP 389, North End Cell. This is the end of my territory. I don't own this uh, location. This belongs to my adjoining maintainer. My district starts at those insulated joints right there and goes that way. I just thought it was interesting that when I first came to work here, we were putting in the system called PMTC, Pulse Modulated Track Circuit, CTC, and uh, Centralized Traffic Control. And uh, the new system we put in, this was a new house. This house was installed during that project. And you can see, and this was in 1979, 1980. All those clean spots there, those clean squares, were all electromagnetic relays. And they absolutely filled these shelves. And those troughs up there, that trough anyway, and uh, behind each of these boards here is another trough. We're absolutely stuffed and filled with wires. 
that tied all those relays together. And we put in the new microcode and electrocode systems that uh, put everything on the rail and do everything with microprocessors. This rack and those few relays there that are used to actually throw switches and repeat track circuits and stop signals, that replaced all of that. Not there's the radio. But anyway, I just thought it was uh, interesting. I haven't been in one of these houses out here in the desert since they put that stuff in. But uh, anyway, all that placed with that and that's a good thing and again we are at a control point a control point is a location that is controlled remotely by a dispatcher and uh, as I said a while ago the dispatchers can clear signals they can take signals down not physically but uh, put them at stop they can clear the signals if they can be cleared they can throw switches uh, right here at uh, Cameron there's one crossover between the number one and the two track. Uh, number two track is a track on our left. Number one track is on the right. You can see the uh, crossover there. There's a power switch machine at each end. There's a dragon equipment detectors right there. The dispatchers don't have anything to do with those. Those are just field. This was supposed to be a double crossover. For some reason, they didn't put the uh, other crossover in. So you have a really big, long control point here. The, the, between these signals here at the control point, it's called the OS. And uh, Southern Pacific called it a detector track. UP calls it an OS. Anyway, it just uh, that's a designation for the tracks at a control point. Well, that will conclude the piece on uh, signal control and operation at a control point and uh, I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was informational and again I want to stress this is all about safety the signal system is about safety it's about expediency as well trains move much more quickly uh, when they're governed by a reliable signal system uh, that is maintained by guys like me seriously uh, it's all about safety I know that there are people, as I've said in other segments, that probably believe that uh, the expediency is the, the big talking point, even though they come out and tell us that it's about safety. It is all about safety as far as I'm concerned. And, and in the piece I did as an introduction to this, and the piece that I will do as an exit when I'm done, I will hammer on the safety of all this and what it's what it means to the public, and what it means to the operation of the trains and the people who run those trains and to the people working out on the tracks. So anyway, we'll see you all later.